Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're primarily looking at the solar eruption that is on its way to Earth. We are going to have a seismic note as well and an excellent study on solar forcing of the Asian monsoon, but the big story this morning is the sun. So we go to the last 24 hours on our star where we had three M-class solar flares, the last of which was a longer duration M2 flare that lasted long enough to launch a CME. If you don't spot it here, trust me, you'll see it in a moment. So we've got a plasma shockwave on its way to Earth, and here's the sequence once again. Near center disk, the sunspot launched the CME, which is even more visible in the high energy 94 angstrom view. Folks, it may be sparse, meaning it's not going to impact with super high density, but it's energetic and it's moving really fast. Clearly a full halo CME in both the NASA and NOAA Enlil spirals suggests the CME will impact Earth tomorrow night, about 36 hours from the posting of this video. NOAA forecast level 2 or 3 geomagnetic storm conditions and so we'll be watching for more eruptions today and then tracking the solar wind waiting for the impact. Seismic note of the day, we've got a bit of a swarm in Nevada, don't we? Hopefully it's an aftershock sequence from the biggest one in the group and not the preparation for shock phase for something bigger, but eyes open there. Top science article of the day is this. They have done about the highest level scrutiny of the history of the Asian monsoon. The decadal variability is not only tied to solar activity for about the millionth time in the peer-reviewed literature, but they noted that the impact of the sun is on sea surface temperatures impacting the walker circulation. For those with any of my weather textbooks, you already know that is the main pathway for nearly all longer term solar forcings of our atmosphere. Tomorrow, our special issue on solar forcing of society and civilization is coming out, about 15 days until the monthly science rundown. When you sign up for our twice a month e-magazine, you get access to all past issues. It's hundreds of pages of tier one science for less than a combo meal at McDonald's. At Observer Ranch, we have several more big events before the year ends. Head over to ObserverRanch.com to check out the event list and book your stay. November looks like it is going to be wild. Several major events. All links are found below the video. Today's science, the homework videos, the e-magazine, Observer Review, and of course, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.